so good morning good afternoon good evening friends today we are going to discuss on desktop support interview desktop support engineer interview questions with answers i have provided 15 interview questions with answers and i am sure that you will get at least 10 or 11 questions from these interview questions list only so hope you can see my video till end and uh, yeah i have also provided the desktop support engineer interview questions in hindi uh, i will give the link in the description also if you want these questions in the pdf form you can just contact me on complex sql at gmail.com but the condition is you require to subscribe my channel before sending me the mail okay so let's get started can you explain what dhcp is so this is most common question dhcp is one of the protocol which stands for dynamic host configuration protocol it is dynamic host configuration protocol it is used to automatically assign the ip addresses to devices on the network okay so the main work for dhcp protocol is it it is used to automatically assign ip addresses to devices on the network for example when you connect your laptop to Wi-Fi network, DHCP assigns an IP address to device so that it can communicate on the network. Okay. So this is the work of DHCP protocol. Next question. How would you troubleshoot a computer that is not connecting to the internet? So there are few steps of troubleshooting the computer which is not connecting to the internet. As a desktop support engineer, you require to take care of that issues as well. So, I would start by checking if other devices on the same network can connect to the internet. Firstly, I will check the other devices on the same network are connecting to the internet. If they, they are connecting, then I would ensure that the network cable or Wi-Fi connection is working on the troubled computer. If that is not an issue, I would check the proxy settings and firewall configurations that might be blocking the connection okay there are three three main steps first we you require to check few resources who are uh, connecting who are in the same network and if they are facing the issue or not if they are not facing the issue then you require to check the network cable if they are, uh, the network cable is also fine wi-fi connection is also fine then you require to go for proxy settings or firewall configurations okay if all the three are uh, uh, three uh, points are not working, then you require to contact the internet service provider. Next question is what is Active Directory? Active Directory is the directory service developed by Microsoft for managing and organizing network resources. So Active Directory, you can manage, organize all the network resources. It stores the information about users, computers and other network objects in the hierarchical structure you will get all the network objects in hierarchical structure for instance it helps manage user authentication and access to share resources okay user authentication management as well as access to share resources this is used next question explain the concept of printer queue what is printer queue okay so a printer queue is a temporary storage location for print jobs on network or, or local printer. Okay, it is a logical location or temporary storage location where multiple users can send the print to the print jobs. They are stored in the queue and processed one by one. Okay, so when you are going to buy a ticket in the theater, then you 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 require to go in the queue, right? And their first come first serve basis, they are serving you the ticket. They are giving you the ticket. Once they got the, their money, they are giving you the ticket one by one. Just like that, if there are four or five systems in the using the same printer, and if they send the print job, then it is also first come first serve basis. Okay. Let's say printer one has sent the job first time, then printer two sent the job, uh, print job okay then it will come into the print queue and one by one printer prints the jobs okay this prevents the printer from being overwhelmed and ensures orderly printing 
it ensures the orderly printing okay how would you handle the situation where where a user's computer is running very slowly okay so this kind of situation also occurs uh, frequently so first i would check the task manager to identify any resource intensive applications okay task manager go to task manager check resource intensive application then i would recommend closing unnecessary applications and performing a disk cleanup to free up the space and if the issue still persists then i might suggest upgrading the hardware components like ram or hard drive okay next question describe the steps you would take to set up the email on user's device first and foremost thing to do once you come into the organization is to set up the mail right so you, your desktop support engineer will help you to setting up the mail what are the steps first i would start collecting the user's mail server settings incoming and outgoing outgoing first you require to check and collect user's email server settings okay then i will go to email client settings such as microsoft outlook and input the server detail along with uh, user's mail credentials okay i would demonstrate by configuring the email on their device or i can give the step by step guide how to configure the mail or how to configure the outlook to the users then next is what is purpose of firewall so firewall is nothing but shield to your network okay it acts like a shield to your network a firewall is a network security device that monitors and controls incoming and outgoing network traffic it acts as a barrier between trusted internal network and untrusted external network so your internal network is always always trusted right you might have set up some rules on the internal network but sometimes the external network systems are coming uh, trying to come entering to your network so at that time your firewall acts like a shield they are checking with rules and regulations if rules and regulations are good as per the organization policy then uh, uh, the firewall will give permission to uh, enter to the internal network it prevents unauthorized access and protecting against cyber threats next question how do you handle a situation where user has forgotten their windows login password this situation also occurs frequently so the answer would be i would guide the user to use the password reset option by clicking forgot password at the login screen if that is not possible i might use the administrative tools or password reset disk to help them to regain their access okay then explain the concept of data backup and why it is important data backup and restore is very very important and this is the key task for desktop support engineers okay i have seen one incident in one of the pune based company has uh, gone through one of the uh, one of the failures like i guess there was some attack malware attack due to that malware attack they have lost all their data but due to this backup and recovery strategy they all uh, uh, all recovered from that situation and uh, right now everything is going well but they they have got i guess 3 to 4 months to recover their data so why data backup is important for these kind of reasons the data backup is important so data backup involves creating copies of important files and storing them in separate location it is crucial to prevent data loss due to the hardware failures accident accidental detection or cyber attacks for instance i would recommend setting up the automated backups to an external drive or cloud storage nowadays there are cloud storage every companies are using cloud storage their cloud space is there so uh, we are recommending uh, the associates to automate their backups or we are going to automate the backups from their side in the external drives or cloud storage next question is what is remote desktop protocol rdp it is important protocol to run the remote desktop applications okay so rdp stands for remote desktop protocol which is developed by microsoft that allows a user to connect to other computer over the network okay sometimes user are facing issue and you are taking the access of their computers remotely right for that remote desktop protocol is important this is useful for troubleshooting and providing the technical support to the user without physically being there 
being at their location okay so this is important protocol remote desktop protocol how would you assist a user who can't print to the network printer okay so the answer would be i would start by checking the printer online connected to the network or not so sometimes what uh, the, the printer is not connected to the network printer is not in the network that's why the they are not able to print okay so i would verify the user's computer is correctly configured to use the printer if everything seems fine i might try removing and readding the printer ensuring the correct drivers are installed okay so i uh, next step is you require to check the correct drivers of the printer installed or sometimes everything is fine but you require to readd the printer to the network question 12 can you explain the concept of ip addressing subnetting this is most important question ip addressing involves assigning a unique numeric identifiers to the devices on the network and subnetting is the practice of dividing the larger network into smaller segments for better management and efficiency okay let's say in your company the 50 workers are working and five departments are working together and you require to bifurcate the departments so you can give the subnetting concept to five different departments you can do the subnetting uh, through the ip addresses okay so example for the same is the ip address may look like 192.168.1.10 and subnetting would be the group of devices based on similar ip address like that 192.168.1.x2 10 1 1 2 that is for one department 22 uh, 10 to 20 that is for other department just like that you can do the subnetting next is how do you ensure the security of sensitive data and user on the users computer so, so users computers data is very sensitive sometimes they are using banking data all other medical data is there all gdpr rules are there in the market so you require to ensure their security so answer for the same i would recommend implementing strong passwords first you require to recommend strong passwords enabling full disk encryption and installing up to date antivirus software so three things you require to remember strong passwords full disk encryption installation of up to date antivirus additionally educating the user about phishing scams and safe browsing practices is essential to prevent unauthorized access to their data you require to give the knowledge to the user about phishing scams and other scams happening nowadays okay what steps would you take to troubleshoot a computer that is not powering on so, okay so this is also common issue sometimes uh, computer uh, system is not powering on so what you require to do so i would first ensure the power source is functional i would check if power cable is connected properly that power button is functioning first you should have to check the power source then power cable then power button if computer is still does not power on powering on then i might diagnose the hardware component such as power supply or motherboard you require to check power supply and motherboard last question explain the difference between ram and hard drive ram stands for random access memory it is type of volatile memory that provides a temporary storage of a data being actively used by the computers okay ram is volatile temporary storage memory being actively used by the computers ram is fast hard drive hard drive is non volatile storage used for long term data storage even if the computers are powered up it is working fine ram affects the speed of active tasks and hard drive file stores in the operating system and the software so ram is always fast memory location okay hope you like this video if you like this video kindly subscribe the channel and click on bell icon if you want more interview questions like this kindly subscribe my channel and just mail me ping me on complexsql@gmail.com for more interview questions like this thanks for listening to this video till end cheers